Tommy, goalless draw out there, as I always ask when we have a draw. Do you think that's two points dropped or one point gained? It's a point gained at the end of the day. You know, we when we looked at uh, Southend in the, the couple of games coming into this one, we saw a team very similar to ours. I think the difference at this moment in time is the platform they start their attacks from is a little more... Um, it's been a little bit more regular for them, so they're, they're really, they really know what they're doing. Their patterns of play are very obvious, but they're, they're difficult to stop, mm. uh, and they've got good quality all over the pitch. I mean, one thing they have got more than us, they've got more experience than us, you know, experience of the level. Um, and some of them lads have played a lot of AFL football. So, you know, I think that's two teams there trying to play the right way. I've got to be honest, it was competitive, it was, it was honest. Um, Probably both teams will say there wasn't quite enough quality in the final third of mm. the pitch in terms of the attack in the sense. Um, um, you know, you look back and it was a long time ago now, but we should have scored after 35, 40 seconds. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't. I don't know why he didn't put the ball in the goal. Um, but that was the best chance of the game. That said, you know, we've occupied our own third too much, more than I'd want to do. But again, that's credit to the opposition. But I've got to say to a man, we didn't we didn't throw any tells in. We, we kept digging. We kept trying to, you know, protect our goal when we needed to and in fairness Marcus hasn't had a great deal to do he's fielded a few balls and he's, he's taken a few for a long distance but like I said both teams if you look back I think yeah need a little bit more quality in the final third a clean sheet though is always a positive and that you've got to be proud of especially at the end we were under yeah, a bit yeah. of pressure at the end there weren't they but the defence stood tall and we can be happy to, to not, not have conceded this, this yeah season. like I said I mean they've, they've got a, they've got multi um a faceted attack to be honest with you you know the, the lad who plays right wing back has got nine yeah, goals this yeah. season so you know they're, they're a threat of set pieces they've got a long throw but they've got good you've got passing and they've got good interchange you know in and around your box so you can't switch off at any time then I thought we you know both the midfield lads grafted so hard uh, and made great blocks edge mm -hmm. of the box when there were shots pulled back from the, from bylines I thought Ashley stood up manfully well to the lad on the left and both Frosty and uh, Ollie Scott, who had a really tough shift for 13 minutes when he came on, when you know they were they were in fifth gear by then, and, and we were you know we was hanging in a little bit. So, look, I'm very mindful, and I'm not too proud to say, you know, I think we had our spells first half early on, and then they they had their spell same second half. When we made the substitutions, the, the first substitutions, I thought it worked to a T. We got got a foothold in the game. We we had ball retainers, um, and we looked like we might you know open them up a little bit, but. Like I said, we I joked, but we I spoke to Kevin on Saturday night before, mm. before and he says, Tom, I'll take a point now. <laughs> he should have stayed in South End. We could have just shook hands for the fourth. <laughs> well, you made a few changes to the lineup today. Uh, was that maybe thinking because you know Wednesday, Saturday is, is a short space of time? Was that maybe resting, or was it a specific plan to to unlock? It was a speci specific plan to counter them, to be honest with you, because mm. I think if you give them total freedom to play how they want across the back and then into midfield, then you, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. So I, I, in fairness to, to Jack, um, to Kai and to Ryan, they worked really, really hard out of possession. Um, and I'm not saying that Josh, James and Harry didn't, but what they did is they, they made them, they edged the ball the way we wanted to go a lot more than what the other three would have done in the first half, I felt. So to, you know, from that point of view, the plan worked. It kept us in the game, like I said, that group of people, the lads who started the game, should have scored a goal. That, they, they created the best opportunity. Um, but that said, you know, like we move on. It's, it's, for me, it's four points in two games, and usually when you do that, if you can do that repeatedly, then you'll, you'll, you'll do okay. Well, exactly. You look at the last four games. That's, that's undefeated in those, isn't it? So a lot to build on from that. It's four wins, four losses, and four draws. If anybody wants to look further back, I yeah. mean, at the end of the day, it's, that's that's. It, we don't tend to lose lots of games in a row, and, and we haven't, not since I've come in the building. So we always get a good reaction. And like I said to the players there, sometimes I'll really praise them and I'll say it on here that we've played some really good football. What we've done tonight is we've dug in, we've played spells of really good football, um, but we haven't dominated the game like I would like to. I think Kev would probably say the same. They've had spells where they've dominated the game and they haven't done enough to, to, you know, to breach the goal. So it's going to end up nil-nil. But I don't think it was a bad game. I think it was a really good, too well... Two well organised sides, two sides who know what they want to do and what they're trying to do, um, and two managers who want to win.